Okay, so you've turned on your landscape lights and they don't come on. It seems like some fixtures work and some don't. The days around here are getting a lot shorter. Uh, we just did away with daylight savings, so we uh, backed the clocks off and now uh, it gets dark at 4.30. So everyone turns on their landscape lights. There's three things I want you to check if your landscape lighting is not working. So most oftentimes the problem is with something at the fixture. So we have a, a new FX fixture here for demonstration purposes. First thing I want you to do, the most obvious thing, is check your bulb. So make sure the bulb is seated properly, make sure the holes are clean and there's not a bunch of junk in there. So in my case, it was just a bad bulb. If you have LED bulbs, they should last about 10 years if they're good quality. If you have halogen bulbs, which are the older, the ones that burn really hot, they'll last uh, sometimes a couple of years and sometimes six months. So check the bulb, that's the easiest thing first. The next thing that I would like you to do is go to your, your base here where you plug in the light. And if you have a voltage tester, it's gonna help you a lot because it's gonna tell you what's going on here. So I want you to take the two prongs, put them in the little holes. With mine, I have to hold it in there and then turn it to the voltage test. This is a low voltage system, it's 12 volts typically or thereabout. So you need to have it on the lowest voltage setting which on mine is 200 volts or less. So I would check it and if I still am not showing any power here, then the most common problem that we see is actually with the connections. So many times we see that connections are not waterproof. Now this is a huge problem because in the outdoor environment, even if it doesn't rain much where you live, it still moisture gets in there from the air and from the sprinklers. And so moisture travels throughout the copper, starts destroying things and taking the connections and making them uh, very weak. So check your connections. If it looks like there's any damage to them, uh, maybe the wire's green or black is bad. If it's black on the inside, uh, cut it off and go ahead and replace the connection. Most oftentimes this will fix the problem. We recommend using a dry splice connection. 3M makes a good one and so does a company called Drycon. It, uh, we refer to it as a lifetime connection because it really lasts uh, such a long time. I've seen them when they're about 30 years old and they still work. It's, uh, it holds it together tightly, you can't pull it apart, and also it's waterproof. So uh, it does everything you need it to do. If that doesn't work and it's still not operating properly, you may want to go to the transformer and do the same voltage test with your voltage meter at the transformer and make sure that's not the problem. Most commonly though, the problem is within the first few feet of the wiring or the fixture. So I hope this helps you. If you need further assistance, you can always give us a call or an email. Thank you for watching.